What are you doing here? What? I know the death of these children has affected you very much. I'm afraid it has me also. Don't even try and talk me into going back. If saving these kids isn't a matter of national security, then there is no such thing. I've been thinking. There might be a way to change this. All right, Parker, now don't make a scene. These people have been through enough. You lead them here? No, of course not. And as of right now, you're under arrest. Let's go. How can I be under arrest? I don't work for you people anymore. You do until we say you don't. You're AWOL. You destroyed government property. Do you have any idea how sensitive dogs' noses are? They're still at the vets right now. Gee, I'm sorry, Nathan. Maybe we can do a back step to yield them. Not you, cowboy. You're going to do some serious time in solitary. Oh, you're going to throw me in the hole, are you? That's right. Then how about adding a real offense to those charges? What's that? <laughs> Strike me, federal officer. Oh, God. Get him out of here! How do you like solitary, Parker? He's completely lost it. Well, you wanted him to act like a trained monkey. He's acting like it. He hasn't eaten a bite in three days. My professional opinion, sir. Parker's finally, truly gone around the bend. Well, whether he has or he hasn't may no longer be our concern. What are you saying? We all sympathize with the loss of those children, but our orders are crystal clear. We only backstep for national emergencies. Frank knows that. The NSA panel wants him out of this project. What? After all he's done for this, for us? That's unthinkable. He's evaluated and still found to be a security risk. He'll be going back to the agency's mental institution on Hanson Island. At that point, we'll have no choice but to find ourselves a new chrononaut. The NSA says we only backstep for national emergencies. What, you rubbing it in? No, 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 it's just a simple deduction. But if that's the case, we just have to create one. A what? A national emergency? They happen all the time. What are you suggesting? We bomb the Pentagon? We blow up a nuke in its silo? Well, there could be a simpler way. I think the only problem we're going to have is that we would need a Ramesses help. Come on, we're running out of time. Mr. Ramsey. Oh, no, just forget it. If it's about Parker, you can just forget it. Ramsey, we're here to appeal to your human side. <laughs> I don't have a human side. Oh, come on, Nathan. Those kids need your help. It's the morally right thing to do. Morality's a gray area in the intelligence field. Nathan. Please. Ah, this is all Parker's doing, isn't it? Everybody all worked up. I've been dreaming about those damn kids. Besides, he embarrassed me in front of my men. Wait a minute. Is that what this is all about, Nathan? He embarrassed you in front of your men? Wait a minute, Nathan. We shouldn't be thinking about Parker. We should be thinking about those 12 little kids from that small town just like you're from. With your help, Nathan, we may be able to do something to change this. Please just listen. All right, I'll help you on one condition. That son of a bitch is going to apologize. Nice place you got here. I understand you've agreed to my terms. Fine. I'm... Uh... Get on with it, Parker. I'm out of here. Nate, I'm very... You know, I don't think I heard that. I, my ears are getting bad because I'm getting old. What did you say? 
I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for breaking your nose. Did that sound sincere to you? Good for me. Yeah, sounded great to me. Mm-hmm. Let's get a polygraph down here. I want to know if he means it. Oh, Mr. Rossi. What's this about an emergency, Nate? Uh, sir, some of my operatives have come up with some additional intel on the L.A. subway hijacking. I felt it was my duty to bring it to your attention. What additional intel? Well, this man is one of 33 people who perished in the subway fire. It was just ID'd as Kennedy Barstow. But his name was not, in fact, Barstow. No, that's one of many aliases he used. His real name is Jonathan Sams. Now, Jonathan Sams was a freelance covert agent for the Belarusians, the Red Chinese, anybody that would pay him to steal our secrets. This man hardly looks like a highly skilled international spy. Well, Jonathan Sams is, or was, known as the chameleon, like Carlos the, uh, the jackal. Uh, he, um... He was a man of many disguises. In fact, that's what led to his success. A yeah, very devious operative, sir. The agency has had him on our hard target hit list for years. So, if he was a hard target, why isn't this a good thing that he's dead? Well, uh, we have it on good authority, sir, that that uh, uh, Sam's was in the process of delivering a package to person or persons unknown living in the Los Angeles area. A very important package. Yeah, a computer disk containing uh, classified data about our SDI system. The FBI is curious to know who hired Mr. Sam's and whether this operation is ongoing. Now, the only way to find out is to arrest him and question him. Very convincing. Very convincing indeed. And I don't believe a word of it. Sir Ramsey can verify. Whatever needs to be verified, I'm sure. It was a good try, people, but it's a total concoction, and you know it. Sir, there really is a Jonathan Sams, I'm sure. I'm also sure that this poor fellow, whoever he was, wasn't him. I'm not going to the NSA panel with this. In good conscience, I can't. Conscience. I don't even know what that means anymore. In La Porte, Indiana, earlier today, the two mothers spoke to me about the loss of their children, Evan and Jessica, and how they are coping with their grief. They managed to find solace in their memories in the midst of this terrible tragedy. I, I guess we were, we were lucky to have the time with them that we did. I just, I only wish I just, I, I just wanted to see who they grow up to be. The candlelight vigil continues at Evans and Jessica School, where parents, teachers, and students stand mourning the deaths of their fellow classmates. As one student said, somebody out in Los Angeles owes us an explanation. Amanda speaking. Hello, Amanda. Grandpa, it's late. Is everything all right? Yes, of course, dear. Grandpa? I just wanted to tell you that I love you very, very much. I love you too, Grandpa. Well, you sleep tight now, dear. Goodbye. It seems that a very important courier was among the passengers killed in the L.A. subway terrorist attack. I brought this matter to the attention of the NSA panel. We're a go. Thank you, sir. Come on, it's the seventh day. Late on the seventh day. Let's get this thing gone. Reactor at 90%. 
Bring us in on this one, Frank. Don't try and save the day all by yourself. And do not, under any circumstances, hit me in the nose again. Understand? Reactor at 100%. Godspeed, Mr. Parker.